I'm Margaret Frondorf, and I'm the director of SIS Alumni Relations, and I'm here with Clark Ellis, class of 1962 from the Bologna Center, and we're here today to talk a little bit about um, your experiences, and so I hope you'll share with us what brought you to the Bologna Center when uh, back in the in the 60s. Well, I had studied uh, political science as an undergraduate, and I was interested as a result of having spent a semester in Europe uh, as an undergraduate to try to get back to Europe. I was interested in international relations. I had been accepted by another school that had been uh, uh, remained nameless, and they had offered me a small scholarship, but then I got a telegram from SICE saying not only did I have a scholarship, but they would pay my way to Bologna. And so, boy, to have a chance to study in Europe and have even my trip paid, that really made the difference. So I said bye-bye to the other school and went to, to uh, Bologna. And uh, so that's why I decided to, to go. So tell me about your first experiences, your first impression when you got to the Bologna Center and um, a little bit about that. Um. Well, I, uh, they, the, um, I had to have a roundabout way to get there because I lived in California and the, the, the travel money was the equivalent from Washington to Bologna. So I had to go steerage on a ship from New York to Palermo and then went by train to to Bologna, third class. My goodness, that must have been an exhausting trip. trip. And so when you get when you got there, <laughs> I was completely <laughs> tired. Anyway, uh, in those days, uh, the students, most all of the students, lived in Via degli Orti, in an apartment building. And as I was uh, saying to, at, at lunchtime, the I guess the only rule was that there shouldn't be more than one American in the apartment and uh, that there shouldn't be two of the same nationality in an apartment. So there were originally four of us, uh, a German, an Italian, a Swiss, and myself. The, the Swiss uh, spoke everybody's language perfectly, but uh, I think he felt that we weren't studying enough and we were having too many discussions, so he left. And then the German and the Italian and I just had these fantastic discussions way into the night, trying to understand where each other was coming from. And uh, that was certainly a very valuable part of my whole size experience, living and talking and interacting daily with these students from other countries. What about a favorite course? Does one come to mind? <sighs> well, let's see. Uh, the, the, I probably, the, the favorite courses were uh, on Germany by Grosser, Alfred Grosser, who was a very well-known uh, professor. Uh, but also, uh, I had studied German as an undergraduate, and I took the, the German, uh, and I didn't take Italian language when I was at Sy, strangely enough, nor did I take the Italian politics course by Mancini, but I did audit it uh, some. But uh, I was very interested in, in Germany, and the, the course by Grosser was, uh, was very, uh, very good. And uh, another course on international law by an Italian professor were, was excellent as well. And of course, the, the, the travel uh, that we did uh, to, to shape headquarters in Belgium and, uh, and so forth uh, was also very, very interesting. Talk a little bit about how SICE fit into your career and your accomplishments. Well, it's, it turned out to be very important uh, for my professional life and for my personal life. Um, and professionally, I, as soon as I finished Bologna, I went directly into the Foreign Service. I didn't come back uh, here to, to SICE because I my goal was to get into the Foreign Service. I was accepted, and so as soon as the, the year was over, I came back. But uh, 
it, it certainly was a, a great deal of help for me in my career. My first post uh, was Munich, and uh, because of, I had taken Reinhold Geimer's uh, German class and, and knew enough German, I was sent directly to post without any language training. So that was a plus. Then when I got to, to Munich, two of my best friends from, from Bologna were there in the German local government, the Bavarian uh, government. And uh, so it, I became a great friend, we became great friends who we went on hikes, mountain climbing. Uh, it was, you know, very nice. And, and then um, through them I met a future uh, SAIS uh, student, a Bologna student, a German, Otto Grimm. And when I was in Munich I got a direct transfer to Naples. They assumed that since I went to SAIS that I was fluent in Italian, which I wasn't. <laughs> anyway, so I stopped off in Bologna en route to, to Naples and I met a friend of Otto Grimm's, Paolo Sanella, and he heard, he heard that I was going to Naples, so he gave me a letter of introduction to a young lady that he knew from high school. So I got there and uh, in those days, the Consul General determined your social life as well as your professional life, so he said that he expected all of his consuls to attend a charity ball being sponsored by the NATO officers' wives. Well, I didn't know anybody. I had this letter of introduction, and that letter of introduction proved a letter of introduction to my wife. Oh, what a great story. <laughs> what a great story. <laughs> but uh, later, later on, uh, in in uh, not only Naples, but in Vienna. Uh, there were uh, uh, alums from my Bologna class in the Austrian government that made it right easy to, to fit in and uh, to get started in a, in a new uh, environment because of the Bologna uh, collection, connection. My great interest in, in those days was European integration and multilateral uh, diplomacy. And again, SAIS was very instrumental in that. In later years in the department, I was in the Office of Investment Affairs, both as an economist and later as, as director. And a good part of my work was multilateral negotiations in the OECD, which of course we had visited, in uh, the United Nations, and later on as a special negotiator in, in Brussels at the, with the EC. So uh, again, the interest in the study of European integration and multilateral diplomacy uh, was very important in, in my later career. And advice that you might have to, for today's students, what would you, what would you say? Well, I, you know, it's, uh, it's not always to, easy to do it in, in this job market in particular, but again, I would say to, to follow what your interests are. If you are interested in something, I think that you will do well in that. And the uh, importance in this day and age, however, of no matter what you what field you're in, whether it's in business or academia, or uh, social work or or anything, so much in this global society is international that to come to a school like SAIS or the the Bologna Center, I felt in particularly important to to see as as Ken said at the luncheon today so well. Location, location. If you are immersed in a situation with other st people from other cultures on a day-to-day -day basis, not just in a professional basis where you know it's your job and you're just dealing with them, but if you're dealing with them socially and interacting with them on a daily basis, it gives you a much greater appreciation of other people and where they are coming from. And if you're going to be effective as a businessman or as a diplomat or in any field, 
if you know where the other party is coming from, it helps in arriving at a, a successful agreement. Indeed, great advice. And thank you, Mr. Ellis. This concludes our interview, and okay. we appreciate you being here today. Thank you so much.